Hello Capricorn, this is Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out what are the important love messages for you. And Capricorn, uh, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. And my apology if you can hear the raining sounds. <laughs> it's raining so heavily but I, uh, it's out of my control so please bear with me. I'm going to do my best to speak as loudly as possible, but um, anyway, sorry about that Capricorn. And let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Capricorn today. Death at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, Capricorn, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading, okay? It could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. So the, I feel like you're dealing with somebody whom you are separated from currently, okay? Um, with the King of Pentacles and with the Nine of Cups, this is actually your energy. You could be focusing on your work right now and just doing whatever that makes you happy with the Nine of Cups here. But it does look like there is a return from somebody with the Nine of Cups. Maybe an unexpected return could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Can be um, any sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or even Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, but there is a bit of a delay with the Tower here in reverse. I do sense that there could be somebody either waiting and knowing instinctively that this person may return or reach out. But with the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, somebody may be very, very guarded and may not actually be open to this person returning because they are still broken hearted. Okay, could be you or your person. Again, roles can be reversed in this uh, reading. I'm not sure if you saw the thunder or the lightning, I mean. Okay, but and I'm like sitting right next to the window. But. All right, um, sorry about that Capricorn, but I need to do, I need to finish all the reading by a certain time because I'm moving to another villa, so a lot of packing to do and stuff. Anyway, um, Capricorn, so it does look like if this is someone completely new with a Knight of Cups here, I feel like this could just be fear, okay? Fear of getting hurt again. If this is someone new, fear of getting hurt again, so maybe a bit resist, resistant in, maybe you may be feeling a bit resistant from this person, by letting this new person come in, okay, to your life or come into your heart. But I feel like for a lot of you, this can, can be somebody who could have hurt you in the past with the three of swords here. Maybe they're going to have this surprise, surprise come back, okay, but then you're going to be very guarded, I feel, okay. Let's see more. Yeah. This is actually your energy, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are just going to do you, okay? Whether you are single or not, a lot of you are actually single right now. I can see that. But for some of you, maybe you're seeing somebody new, okay? But I feel like with the Ace of Swords and Reverse, uh, it has something to do with either not communicating right now or somebody not communicating the truth or finding it really hard to start over or remove certain things about the past that could have hurt you, okay? The Three of Swords here. But it does look like somebody is thinking about moving towards Kama Water. Eight of Cups, for some reason, I feel like it's more like moving towards you, okay? Rather than moving on, like how I would usually read it. Uh, it really depends on the surrounding cards, how certain meanings um, change uh, for me, okay? So we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody may have been a liar, a cheater, or non-committal, or had a bad temper or bad attitude, whatever the case it, it could be. I feel like a lot of you Capricorn are moving on from this person, but it looks like this person is moving in the back to you, possibly trying to, okay? But I, I still see it as being a bit slow and maybe there is some sort of a delay, okay, of them reaching out. Some of you maybe they already have because they're sitting in a present position. But, you know, it's a general reading, so for each and every one of you, your divine timing is different, okay? So we got the death, two of uh, wands here. Huh. 
I do consider somebody, um, I, I do sense that somebody is considering stepping up their game because that could indicate transformation. Maybe someone is thinking about transforming from being a player or non-consistent to becoming the king of pentacles. Somebody whom is very loyal, uh, reliable, responsible, okay, financially stable as well. So you got the two of wands here. It could be a choice that someone is still, you know, should I be selfish? Should I still have all the cake, have the cake and eat it too? Or should I just change? Should I just transform? It could be you or your person. Again, roles can be reversed here. But overall, I do sense somebody, some of you, somebody new coming in towards you, but you may be a little bit overly protective of your heart. Fearful this person would actually hurt your feelings or hurt you, okay, in the long run. But I do sense also this can actually be someone from your past actually returning as a Knight of Cups. So it looks like when they return, they're going to say a lot of romantic stuff. They're going to make make it make you feel sad, I feel. Okay, they're going to make you feel really sad with the things that they have to say to you and all that they will say to you. But I feel like a lot of you may be thinking, you know, maybe you'll be better off without this person. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you, I'm not saying all of you, maybe at least 90% of you, Capricorn, you're going to choose yourself. You're going to choose to build something for yourself. You're going to choose to be independent, self-sufficient, focusing on your work, on whatever project that you are you know, working on currently, or just focusing on your home, or improving yourself, raising your standards. Let's see more. So you got the three of cups here, yeah. It does look like someone may be wanting to transform, wanting to change a lot because they know this is the only way they can be reunited with you or you with them. Again, it can be reversed. And four of cups in reverse, yeah. Someone is thinking and they, they're indec indecisive right now. It's because, number one, uh, whether they're going to regret it, okay, if they really completely let go, will this, will you be at the missed opportunity? Again, roles can be switched. Or should they just continue, you know, doing their own, th own thing and doing whatever that makes them happy, which is selfishness. Um, and we've got the Queen of Cups and we've got the Two of Swords and the Mars. I feel like the love is there. Somebody does love somebody here, which I feel it's the the good one loves the bad one. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But the bad one also loves the good one because you got the knight and the queen. You both are in an upright position. So it does look like both of you do love each other. But some things could have been revealed to a sort here and led to somebody making a decision to let go of this connection. But I do sense also with the nine of pentacles, someone may be seeing you looking great, looking gorgeous, getting yourself together. And that they may want to return. I've got the love is here. Some of you, there could be somebody new, a new connection coming in for you guys. But I feel like you're going to be very careful about it because you don't want to get hurt again with the false thoughts. Yeah, a lot of you just taking some time out. Could also be somebody strategizing, not telling you right now that they actually want to return because they miss you and they want to be physically intimate with you. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave you with four videos on the screen right now. These are the videos from my second channel. It's a second, it's a vlog channel, but it has some tarot readings, a mixture of both. Uh, if you guys would like to check it out, if not, it's fine too. And I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. Take care, Kat. Bye.